At the end of the day, there's still so much I need to learn about soccer. I mean, football. But you know what? Coach has got to coach. Hey, you guys, come on. Pick it up. You're, play, you're playing like a bunch of little boys out here. Huh? Is that what you want to be, little boys? No, sir. I'm the proud coach of the St. Catharines Fighting Owls. Who? The Fighting Owls. <laughs> you guys know what relegation is? Yes, sir. Oh, you do? Okay. Having coached now in the Premier League, I bring a Premier League level of standards. You know, things like the art of flopping. Stay down, wait till the ref sees it, and now you're up. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Nice job, nice job. Celebrations after goals. Oh, coach bomb. <laughs> Tea time. Going into eighth grade, okay, so a lot of big changes coming up here, you know, like going in. In my mind, you got to have three things to be a Premier League team. One, you got to play physical. Two, you got to give 100% until the final whistle. And three, you got to be sponsored by a Middle Eastern airline. Well, congratulations, because you are now sponsored by Dubai Jet. That is Dubai's first discount airline. Yeah, give it up. Give it up for Dubai Jet. What is going on guys? Manic Budget here and welcome to the Leicester City career mode where, if you guys are new, we have taken over Leicester City with Ted Lasso, or as he calls it, Leicester. And uh, that's what the little video at the start is about. So, we are aiming to get into the Champions League places. This is our fourth season in charge. And uh, yeah, it's looking good so far. We had some tough games in the last episode. There'll be a link at the end of the episode as normal. But yeah, we've got a cup game this time. We've got a squad rotation on the go. Uh, we've got Nottingham Forest away. And this is the team that we're going to use. We've got to go over with uh, Rossiter in defence. Kane starting at right back. Schlupp at left back. Martinez in net. Palmer Brown's going to captain us. We've got our young midfield maestros. Farouk Alvaran and Javier Rodriguez in midfield. Redmond starts on the right. Diaz starts on the left, Ings and Bakayogo are up top, so I hope that we can at least outscore them, but hopefully have a good game against them. So let's just jump into this right now. Oh, Danny Ings making a run, Bakayogo finds him, Danny Ings takes it down, hits it on the volley! But it is wide. Oh. Actually, while we got it in my memory, just uh, at the start, I wanted to ask you guys help. So, um... Last season we got really into developing youth players, we sent scouts out and everything, hence the signings of like Ross who just won that header, but uh, there seems to be a glitch and I don't know why, but every single time I click on the youth squad, um, the game freezes and it resets. So I can't access my youth squad as Danny Ings breaks away, can he finish it? Danny Ings! Oh my yes! God! Too easy! 11 minutes in, Danny Ings has the pace. He moves into loads of space and he buries it and leaves the keeper with an angry look on his face. Oh my god, that was terrible. Uh, yeah, Danny Ings puts us ahead, but yeah, so that's what's happening. Whenever I go on youth squad, any anytime I click on it, it just it just freezes. So I can't see any of the new players that we sign. I can't see who's in our academy. I can't sign them, I can't offer them any contract, so I've just got to use real players, which is kind of why the transfer market was so important for us this time around. So if you guys have dealt with it before or you know maybe what's wrong, maybe just let me know. If not, then it's not a biggie, I suppose. Um, we'll just carry on until Schlub crosses the ball in. Oh. We'll just carry on until, you know... We win the Champions League, which is our objective. Knocks it on, Bakayogo, can he put a good ball in? He chips it in to Danny Ings! Well, it was... We get a penalty. I thought it was offside because the linesman had his flag up. But it's, uh, it's a penalty instead. We scored the goal. But Cohen slides in just as Bakayogo chips that cross in. It was a good cross. Bit of a crap penalty. And I'm going to be a bit disappointed if we don't manage to score this. Because we are technically 2-0 up. But Bakayogo standing over it. Let's see if he can bury this one. I'm going left. Bakayogo! Oh, it's saved! Illuminati is confirmed yet again. Redmond, pointless skill. Feeds Bakayogo. Bakayogo goes past. Finish it! Bakayogo oh makes God. amends for the penalty oh miss. Oh and he scores oh that one. Nice little oh feed from Redmond. Oh and the back oh is fed. Farouk Alfaran from range. Hits it. Oh, what a save. Comes out to Bakayogo. 
Can he play it? He heads it. Oh, it's cleared finally. What a shot that was by Farouk Alfaran. We know we can hit them. Redmond into some space, looking for a cross. Comes out to Baki. Yogo oh tees himself God. up. Oh oh Wham bam. Thank you, man. Let's have a little, just out of interest. So last season, I reckon our MVP, our most valuable player, was... Oh, it's tough because it's between Bakayoga and Vieto, in my opinion. But Bakayoga was really good as well, and so was Reina, making some really good saves. So I don't know. I think uh, Bakayoga or Vieto, man of the match, uh, MVP. Who do you, for your prediction for this season, who do you guys think is going to be the MVP? Do you think Martinez is going to grow? Or do you think Bakayoga is going to steal the show? Leave in the comments down below. Hopefully we can just see who players like. Comes out to Franck Ribéry who finesses it. But the keeper saves it. Ribéry. Trying his skill. He loses the man. Franck Ribéry. Oh what a goal son. Oh On the 90th oh minute. Oh the Frenchman oh does it. Look at his nice little turn. Loses his man. Nice little touch to get away. And a quality finish. And there we go, there goes the full-time whistle. Comprehensive 4-0 victory. Back in the Premier League, this time against newly promoted Fulham FC. And uh, one of the big challenges, I think, of this season is... Last season we had a pretty diverse squad, but there were a lot of youngsters in there. There weren't that many players that we could just swap around that would be first-team quality. This year we do have that and I was talking to G as well on Twitter about um, how it's going to be a challenge to keep our players in rotation. So we're going with our dream team up top but Bellarabi's coming in on the right, Redmond starts instead of Ribery, Corley's getting an appearance, Tielmans is there and we've got Hussin starting at right back and I mean it's so tough to keep the likes of Wanyama, Rodriguez, Bellarabi, Tabaka Yogo. Bakayogo skips away, he's brought down. Penalty, lovely footwork, twinkle toes. Come on back, you've got to score this one. Bakayogo oh goes right down God. the middle. Oh my, oh, and he adds to his tally for the season. Four goals in the Premier League. And it's only been, I think this is the fifth or sixth game or something like that. Incredible. Oh no, that's a poor throw in. And Ross McCormack gets it here. Hammer Brown stamps that out. Oh, and Tillman's nearly intercepts. Liam Moore steps across. Oh no, I said pass it. He just didn't want to get rid of it. No. Well, it was a mistake by Liam Moore. I did say pass it, but he didn't. He gets stolen off him. Great little turn. Moves into the space. And I think that is a his teammate helped block Reina's view a little bit and Reina couldn't do anything about that really trying to work some space here eventually switch it across Redmond to Vieto looks for the return Redmond oh my god nice little work passing if I don't I mean I don't I uh, say so myself that was some really nice passing play and a good finish from Redmond who has been in red hot form Third goal in the Premier League for a left winger. It's not bad. Oh, Valero wins it. Can he play it through? Vieto's onside. Is he going for the goal? Yes, he is. Finesse oh is it. God. And oh Leicester get a third. Pew, pew. Luciano Vieto does the business. Palmer Brown wins that. Not Palmer Brown. Oh, Bakayogo's played through. Can he finish it? Bakayogo. Oh side foot God. it. Tidy little finish. It's just so easy in the latter end of the games because the teams commit so many players forward and our strikers have the pace to get away and now Bakayogo is tied with Vieto in terms of goals scored. Five apiece. Oh, Valero, so good at getting in the right positions to make those tackles and then turn and go. Ribéry on the counter-attack. Can the Frenchman get a goal to add to the misery? He's going to cut back inside. He goes all the way. Oh Ribery. Oh, oh, it's so oh, good to have him oh, in the team. Oh, 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 
Just put them back inside like Robin always does. And on his left foot, he's got the dribbling, he's got the accuracy. Takes it way past. It's just his touches are so good for when he's running. And Ribery gets a second goal in the Premier League. Liam Moore wins it, he clears it, but that's it. Full time whistle goes. Here we go. It is a long journey all the way to Russia to face Zenit St. Petersburg. But Leicester City are looking to get their first three points after a tough loss against Bayern. We need to get points against Zenit. We need to get points against Club Bruges. And we've also got to play Bayern at home. So maybe we can go through in second place. Depends on how Bayern do, but they should win it comfortably. Chip through for Bellarabi, who's made a brilliant run. Brought it down nicely. Tees it up for Bakayoko, oh hits it. God. And we are up. 1-0 for 10 up, up, minutes. Up, up, and first up, shot of the game. Up, 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 a lovely piece of play. That ball from Yedlin was phenomenal. And look at that shot from Bakayoko. Weaved through both defenders. Oh, header, Reyna tips it over. I didn't really think anything was going to happen of that. That's why I was so quiet. But Hulk manages to get a header on. And uh, Reyna does well to tip that away. He maybe could have caught it, but... That might need to make a sub. Some of our players are getting really tired. Doing a lot of running, especially in midfield. Or oh, Valero. Vieto plays it on to back of Yogo. Can he finish it this time? Goes with the finesse. Oh my rolls God. it in. Oh That's all we need. 2-0. Oh Baki Yogo gets his second. Oh oh Got to stop doing that celebration. And Vieto's played through here. Can he hit it first time? He does. And we get our third goal. Lucio. Oh, no. It's offside. Bastard! <laughs> I hate it when they do that. Oh, he was fouled anyway. Should have been given the goal. Ribery picks it up. Can he chip it through? No. Should be the final whistle soon. There we go. We get the victory. Happy days. Zenit are beaten. We get our first three points in the Champions League. Oh, wow. And let's see what happened to Bayern. Bayern beat Club Bruges, but just by one goal. That's surprising. Maybe Bruges are going to be a lot tougher than we think. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, if you did, drop a like. If you're a new subscriber, uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And, uh, yeah, leave some comments down below. We talked about in the video, who do you think is going to be the MVP? And can you guys help me out with my glitching issue? And uh, until next time, guys, peace.